Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, where you are joining us today. This is Authentic Conversations presented by Transition Clarity. I am your host, Adele Bernard, and it is my pleasure to greet and have Iva Teleko from LifeWave, Get Well With Your Life, on the show. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you for a nice introduction. And uh, uh, hello, everybody. Okay, so we're just going to go through a little bit of your journey, like how you became an artist then a certified health coach, working within the holistic stem cells. Um, so just a little bit of background for our viewers. She's originally from Czechoslovakia and her journey to America and how she ended up in Washington State and doing what she does. So tell us your journey. <laughs> Okay, my journey uh, started in former Czechoslovakia. Um, since I I was always connected to nature and I love nature, and uh, I I I wanted to be uh, some in future working with animals. I was crazy about animals and nature, but I was all, also artist since I was could hold a pencil, and uh, my mom saw it at me and she encouraged it. And my te uh, preschool teacher, and uh, uh, I I went to public art school when I was five years old, and uh, and was involved with art since childhood, um, and this continued when I grew up. Um, it continued into education. I I chose uh, to go to Prague, studied art, and became ceramic artist. Um, I chose the clay art because it most captured me and uh yeah i i after finishing school in prague i was two years working in um old shop traditional shop that was producing traditional maiolica that was uh had uh um uh tradition since 16th century and uh i was just uh making handmade Pottery, like you see in Italy, the Maiolica that heavily painted, uh, then there was traditional old uh, shop with master and <clears throat> few people. I was working there and getting experience with clay and and decorating, <laughs> and uh, I I wanted to I wanted to be on my own uh, experience uh, express my own art, and uh, I was living in communist country where you cannot have your own business. Um, um, the things weren't that harsh when uh, under me, but my my uh, grandparents and my parents experienced uh, really rough times um, where people were killed and, uh, and uh, everything, they lost everything, my family uh, in past. The, the uh, property was completely confiscated. My grandpa was tortured and uh, never was same after that. Um, then that's what my family was experiencing. Um, I I was experiencing just uh, heavy censoring and a heavy kind of crush on personal freedom. And I didn't want to live like that. And uh, I want to be free and travel. We couldn't travel. Uh, we were behind Iron Curtain. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we were restricted where we can go. And I, I was, I had passion for travel and um, and seeing Italy and all the beautiful art everywhere. And um, you can you can do it under the regime. And I just decided to leave. Um, with my friend and we we were able to get a trip to Italy and Austria, which was very hard to get and very expensive. And it was a trip with young people in the bus with secret police that was watching us. And on the, um, they took our passports that we cannot leave. Uh, and um, on the last night in Vienna, they we got our passports back and uh, we just sneaked out. <laughs> And there we were with suitcase, <laughs> not speaking German. Uh, we, we find our way to a refugee camp, and I spent one one year adventure and a, a beautiful time in Austria, 
it's a, it's, Austria is a beautiful country and has so much beauty and in architecture and nature. And um, uh, over there, I uh, I met my uh, ex-husband and he was heading to US and I wanted to stay in Europe, but he kind of uh, took me, him some time and I uh, was decided to follow him to US. That's how I came to US. Um, we, uh, he was here first and uh, he, he had sponsored in Nebraska and the family sponsored me too. And we started in Nebraska, which was culture shock for me. And I <laughs> wanted to go back. And um, uh, but uh, I, I, I got my first job in medical factory, but and 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 met some, made a really good friendship with a uh, partner in Lincoln, which was uh, I don't know how many miles now. Uh, I don't remember. We used to travel there on weekend, and I was making parts in his <laughs> in his shop, and and kind of working with clay and uh, I was working brought clay home and working making build uh, sculpting sculpting things at home and uh, um, that's how I started in US after two years we moved to Coeur Lane and I um, I got my own pirate well and I, I just started gradually my own business in 2000 uh, um, uh, no uh, um, 19 uh 92 i i i started my uh full time ceramic business and i was full time ceramic artist and um i uh, i lived very happy life it traveled a lot and um uh, and um uh, enjoying discovering us uh with our uh, van camper when we can go anywhere and uh, through the mountains and we were just in awe of beauty of US and uh, and uh, I was full time artist and enjoying just being free and making finally my own art and uh, I gradually started to get into better and better shows and started to travel all of around most of the US and um, in the year 2000, um, I, uh, uh, my marriage fell apart uh, very painfully. And uh, it was after my trip, I returned from my trip to visiting my family mm -hmm. uh, in Czech, uh, Czech, Czech Republic now. And I was, I was hiking in Czech Republic and I was infected. Uh, I got tick on me. I got tick before and I never got infected with anything, uh, but this one um, showed a really weird uh, mark and it was itching and aching and uh, and it was checked. My sister and brothers are doctors and they fortunately, it, fortunately it was checked there and it came positive for Lyme disease. I got antibiotics with me to take home and uh, I, I didn't know anything that those antibiotics I got, they, it was too late. It was after 40, 40 hours. And at the time that the Lyme is already hiding mm -hmm. out of the bloodstream and antibiotics are not able to get that. And But I didn't know anything about it. I came home, my marriage fell apart. I had different things on my mind and um, I, I never thought about it. And I was in best kind of, I was in great shape. I always also, during where I was growing up, um, as I already mentioned, I was always connected to nature. Uh, I was, um, we were using herbs home and we grew them. Uh, there was like grand, my grandma was using all traditional healing still. And uh, we picked mushrooms in the nature. I, it was something kind of natural to me. Then I was al already kind of really connected and really interested in healing with nature. Yeah. And, well, and, and, and um, what I know about the tick and the and the Lyme disease is the antibiotics actually spread it more mm -hmm. because it says, oh, it's food. We'll keep eating it. Yeah. That's a whole other conversation. <laughs> yeah, it's true uh, because we are bombarded. Uh, everybody's toxic today because it, it's everywhere. We are, it's in the water, it's in the air, it's 
kind of um, uh, our food is so toxic and then uh, everybody's toxic even if you detoxify you cannot detoxify and uh, if we wouldn't be toxic the lime wouldn't be able to affect us uh, it's it, it's kind of all the parasites and all the bacteria it's here to to get rid of the dying and, and, and waste and, and the inside of us and toxic stuff then uh, yeah I I get uh, infected in into uh, that a little bit because mm -hmm. because with that Lyme disease right your marriage is falling apart you you finally were doing your passion of the pottery and 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 working with your clay in your hands yeah and the Lyme disease kind of took you out for a bit yeah and and the trauma uh affect my immune system too I lost everything. We we were building house on thirty acres. I, I I was looking forward so much to live. We were building that house by ourselves for ten years, <laughs> without loan. Uh, then I I lost basically everything. All the everything I, I kind of I lost my place to work. I lost everything, and uh, I was actually homeless for a little bit. And my friend uh, took me took me in. She 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 just took me in I was so depressed that I wasn't even mm. to think straight uh, and uh, at the time I uh, I was dealing with Lyme disease and uh, that affected that too um, the depression and, uh, and 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 the stress um, that was that was big part and I was at the time in best of my health uh, I was in great shape I used to ski I, I was swimming I was hiking I, I loved hiking and uh, I was in great shape uh, and uh, um, living happy life and um, everything crashed <laughs> then but um, as so I was how did you uh, go from there to sorry I'm jumping the timeline a bit um, how did you go from from your friend taking you in to living on a boat uh that's far away that's that happened much later yeah i had very very close friends uh in kudalain but we moved from nebraska we, we after two years living there we moved to kudalain because we loved mountains and water and mm -hmm. and i i made very close friends that were like my family mm -hmm. and when they were seeing what's going on, she basically moved me in her house. <laughs> and uh, I was living there for months, I think. And then I find out I was renting from uh, my my friend, uh, mom. Uh, his Her husband passed away and she had full basement kind of furnished yeah. like another unit. Then um, he, he wanted me there to be with his mom, <laughs> yeah. but she's not alone. Um, then uh, friends helped me out kind of to get me out I, without them I wouldn't probably survive <laughs> yeah and uh, but I, I started to have gradually um, uh, small kind of uh, symptoms that were mysterious and um, kind of I have even friends doctors and they, <laughs> when I show them some stuff they were like puzzled and uh, I, I had some some weird stuff going on, like weird sores, like on my on my hand, and and or uh, fever with no anything, very high fever with no warning, nothing, just high fever, and then it disappeared after after that kind of very odd, and started to get really bad headaches and joint pain, <laughs> and that was increasing, and. Um, it was so gradual that I didn't connect the dots. And um so two years part after, of the Lyme, do you believe? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was big yeah. And uh it um uh, after two years I was able from what I got uh after um payment from property we had, I was able to make payment on the house uh down payment on the house and I bought the house by myself. And I wasn't aware then. I bought it between three solar towers. Like one was like, oh, like no. one, one block away. It was like in triangle from my house. And when I moved to my house, uh, the symptoms started to increase. 
Yeah. And I didn't connect it with uh, with the towers, but I was started to awaken to it, and I started to connect that slowly. With I still didn't have a Lyme disease. And in 2006, they put smart meter on my house, uh, and I I wasn't able to do anything about it. Uh, I, I noticed when they put that smart meter on my house, and I was already aware of what smart meter is. Yeah. Yeah. How bad is it? And when they put it on my house, uh, it was next to my father's wolf on outside wall and above, uh, we, we, were, we had bedroom above. Then <laughs> when that happened, um, I I gradually became disabled. I, I had a hard time. I, I, I was in constant pain, like severe pain and doctors were looking for tumors in my head i was diagnosed with fibromyalgia uh, the, the back degeneration uh the the arthritis uh the rosacea my face looked horrible full of soreness and a uh, source and, and a redness uh i was just in a really bad shape and i i, I would probably die in that house then we we saw it we still didn't know it's Lyme disease and well, we decided to... I just I just want to um, take a pause here because it's like this is one of the reasons I wind you on the podcast for the fact like yes you've had a crazy experience but this is just getting people to be aware of their surroundings of yeah they like you're moving to a new country. So of course, like just the soil is going to be different. You're going to have different reactions to just like a carrot in Croatia is not a carrot in America or yeah. a carrot in Canada because our soils are different. Our waters are different. Yeah. And so, and so um, it's just being aware of how intelligent our body is. Mm -hmm. If we actually listen to our body and let our mind be quiet. Yes. We can heal ourselves. Exactly. Exactly. Our yeah. body talks to us every time, all the time, and people just shut it down with aspirin or something, some drug that that sh shuts down that communication that is very important to listen to and, and act upon it uh, right away. To well, give... and I, also, I also want to bring in the fact, like, just because it's natural doesn't mean it's good either, right? Like yeah. Everyone says, oh, aloe vera, aloe vera. Well, okay, well, I'm highly allergic to aloe vera. Wow, Ars I never met arsenic them. is natural too, right? <laughs> like, yeah. Right? So I mean, you know, like there's, yeah. there's good helpful by uh, but, good helpful mushrooms, and then there's the poisonous or psychedelic mushrooms. So yeah. it's it's knowing the knowledge of what you are taking in to yeah yeah that's true yeah the the so here you're in this house in the triangle of the of the <laughs> vortex, and, and you're then, going what's going on like yeah you know like you're trying you're supposed to be like, celebrating you just bought this house on your own you're you're coming out of the slump of like you know yeah divorcing like very sick and then you put yourself back in it you're like yeah what yeah and in 2006 I met my my current husband and uh we got married in 2007 and we lived in in my house and when we were seeing what's happening and we started to understand that frequencies do have something to do with mm -hmm. it and we couldn't we couldn't remove the uh, the smart meter i was uh, trying to kind of um we were trying legally to fight it and we couldn't do anything uh now where i am now uh, when we moved from the house i'm living now mm -hmm. we immediately when we bought the house uh, opt out of the smart meter uh, if it, now you can do it in Washington, in Idaho. I couldn't do anything about it. They trespass on my property without my knowledge, and uh, and just put smart meter on my on my house. My, now you out. now you jumped the boat. It's really funny. <laughs> so yeah, so then, moving from your house with the with the craziness, mm -hmm. then you yeah. ended up on your on a boat, right? Yeah, we decided to sell the house in uh, 2011. We yeah. sold the house. And so so understanding the energy of water and yeah. the healing of it. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. And away from EMF. Right? Away of EMF and and everything. And and prior to that prior also to that happened, um I had some close friend, that friend that took me on uh 
it was one of them. My friends were dying of cancer. Like I lost like five friends in in few just few years. Her husband died. My close friends in uh, close friend in Seattle died. And my fr I was losing friend of cancer, and uh, I was really upset about it. I was trying to help them and searching. I started to dig in the rabbit hole of the cancer, and then uh, uh, last one was. My very close friend in um, she used to live in Spokane. Um, she uh, she escaped same same year like I did. Uh, her name was Eva. She was Czech and she was born same year. And we were close friends. And uh, she got cancer. And she loved her husband and and we uh, uh, moved to to uh, West um, near Bellingham. And uh, she was healing her cancer naturally and um, on her own, which was crazy too, because she was on her own and uh, um, she didn't make it. I I was uh, I was touched with her. I was getting ill and she was experiencing that, that we were consulting what to do naturally, how to heal. And uh, and we were kind of working together and, and um, and we sold the house in 2011 and she came back and uh, she came back to to that area and uh, lived with uh, with somebody who offered her to help her and he was using her up <laughs> he was using her and um, oh. she her she it was at the time that uh, her cancer came back and uh, it got into her bones and she was in extreme pain. She got broken back, and uh, I decided to stay there with her. I, I we sold the house, moved on the boat, and I came back to not to leave her by herself. And um, I, uh, it was a very traumatic uh, time for me to witness uh, this um, unbelievable suffering. And um, this, is, this is where I say like don't you realize that you are a bright light on this crazy earth yeah i because always you keep surviving you keep saying like whatever comes to you you go i'll heal myself I'll, I'll actually i was twice in coma in my life and i survived i shouldn't be here a long time ago mm -hmm. I, I feel like i am protected and uh yeah, it's a long story too. It's uh, I I well, don't know. And, if I, and I find we have similar journeys, right? Because when yeah. I was young, like I was very very sick, and I actually had a medical doctor say I was too stubborn to die in a month. What? Yeah. And like the only thing that hadn't stopped was my heart. Yeah. So like, well, then let's get me better, <laughs> right? Yeah. And so when I, I know. think even in my own life, I'm like, well, obviously I'm here for a reason. Obviously. Yeah. It's I have true. great guidance to say, keep going, keep going. Yeah. Shine your I was, light. I was in coma when I was six months old. Um, I got something weird happened to me. I don't understand what happened. My mom told me about it. I don't remember it. And um, uh, I, I suspicious it was after vaccine, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I She, she never confirmed it because well, uh, they, they yeah. said mysterious infection that put me in the coma and uh and i i miraculously came back and uh, and doctors said my brain wasn't getting oxygen for a long time and i won't be normal <laughs> here i am <laughs> and um i'm not normal because i see things differently than other people I, like, I, normal's I, overrated let's be different <laughs> And second time, I, I when I was 15, I was making license for motorcycle, riding motorcycle. And when I was having my first uh, ride, I had a, a really bad accident. I'm dyslectic and I'm left-handed. I turned things up <laughs> opposite. And I I flew about six feet fence and uh, end up uh, on concrete and, uh, and uh, woke up in hospital. I was in coma for a while too. <laughs> And that was twice in in my life, but back back to I don't know where I end up with uh, uh my friend. She came back, and um I I I came back from the from this uh, Olympia where we bought that boat. Mm -hmm. 
we sold the house, bought the boat, and we were moving in uh, uh, to the boat on Olympia. And I came back to to stay with my friend, and um, uh, I find the situation how abused she was in that uh, where she was. And I, I couldn't find anything to help her. I didn't have a house anywhere to put her. Then we basically called hospice. And um, I stayed three weeks there with her till she passed. And I came with her ashes to back to, to the boat. So this is hypothetical because we are not doctors. We are not medical professionals. How much do you think that that um, abusive relationship enhance the cancer it does uh the, the uh, cancer I, I i dig in the rabbit hole and i listen to the doctors and uh and research um uh, there is connection to um, st- uh, suppress emotions unresolved traumas uh it's all together toxicity diet what we eat what we put on the body and and in the body on on the body, what we drink, and our how we how we think our our um, uh, people just overcome cancer with their mind. Uh, I I I kind of um, saw saw the testimonials about it, and uh, and stuff stuff emotions and unresolved stuff uh, emotions uh, traumas that all contribute to the cancer it's uh, something is out of balance in the body when cancer starts well and even because even a cancer some of the even some of the clients that i've had over the years it's like the cancer shows up and whatever like say breast cancer and you go well okay they like they, they take the cancer out but the emotion of why it was there is still there yeah until you deal with the emotion of why it started yeah it's going to show up somewhere else yeah she had un- uh, unresolved uh, besides uh, how i believe her cancer started uh, she had uh, she was a uh, uh, dental hygienist and she was exposed to mercury on a daily basis uh, she had uh, a really hard, a bad car accident and lost her teeth and had bridge in her mouth with a lot of uh, really nasty stuff that was like is carcinogenic and um uh, another thing, it was probably all played role. Uh, she had unresolved issue with her mom. Uh, she didn't believe her mom loved her, and she got breast cancer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and which, which uh, is lack of nutrients from from maternity. Yeah, and we we all have cancer cells every day. We yeah. all have cancer, but a uh, healthy immune system. If if we are in balance, and and bodies has healthy immune system. Um, it, it it's not problem. It's I'm gonna I'm gonna take that statement a step further because we have all disease, which is because a disease in our this like ease, whether yeah. Well, whether it's whether it's um cancers, whether it's tumors, Lyme, whatever, right? Whatever it is, like yes, healthy eating, exercise definitely helps. Um, but I also take it one step further by saying, if say your friend or whoever my clients were that had say breast cancer if they had worked on the emotional component of not feeling loved not having nourishment not right all of those components that felt that they weren't getting I and this is only me my personal opinion totally believe we could eradicate but I believe on some level this is part of their soul's journey. It's, it's probably it's true. Of, it's part of the plan that they, like, we don't know everyone's blueprint. We barely even know our own blueprint. Like every day, yeah. I'm like, okay, yeah. what's my blueprint thing? I can't remember, right? So we don't know what the blueprint is that has come yeah. in. Yeah. Right? I, yeah. I, I believe that there is some agreement before we come here. Yeah. Because like, you know, like even the statistics say, well, between this day, this year and this year, you will go through menopause. This year and this year, you will get cancer. But I've I've known kids to get breast cancer. Wow. That's horrible. I've known women that like they're in their 80s get breast cancer and you're going, 
really? So yes, yeah. the statistics say X yeah, I, yeah. But I'm saying we don't know, right? And so, and so when you think about, like, I think about you in a, in a way for this, like, the um, Czechoslovakia getting into the concentration, like getting out to the camps coming in to America thinking you have a great new life. Well, no, you end up having to get divorced. You go, then you go, okay, well, I'm free of that. I'm going to buy myself a house. Well, then you go into the triangle. Of that, like, And I'm like, how much can one person take? And then you think, but you, you knew this blueprint. You knew you're a survivor. Mm -hmm. Right? I and then I think of you as, as, the, as the health coach now and, and working in this life now. Uh, you take you take the humans that come to you. They're your clay. Yeah. Just do, do your clay, but they're your clay, and you're helping them mold themselves into mm. the best version of them. Yeah. Because you know the other side. You know the lack of freedom. You know that I've lost too many friends and this is ridiculous. And that's how I think about it too when I'm working. With yeah. Friends. It's like I don't care what your issue is. Let's release it so you can be the glorious yeah. sun that you're meant to be, to be able to shine the best you can be. Yes, yes. And that's how I think of both of our lives is that we didn't go through all this crap <laughs> to stay quiet and not shine. Yeah, I have hard time to be quiet. That's why I'm not active health. That's one of the reasons I'm not active health coach now. Uh, but I, when I saw my friend dying. Uh, I already knew a lot about healing. It was my other passion. Uh, and I started to dig in, in the uh, um, cancer rabbit hole because of other friends also I lost. Uh, then uh, I, I I promised that I will I will do something about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I did too. When we moved on the boat and I was becoming really ill. And uh, I, I couldn't do pottery anymore when we moved I was disabled <laughs> uh, it, my joints all the joints were and nerves and everything I was in so much pain I couldn't sleep and uh, I moved on the boat and uh, when I was on the boat I I was still having my brain and uh, I, I did online certifications for health coaching with uh, uh, integrative nutrition um, uh, and um, IAN, uh, Institute of Integrative Nutrition and Body in Mind Institute. Uh, I followed David Wolf was kind of somebody I followed and, and some people like him. Uh, I followed for a long time and I got certified in raw food nutrition also. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we moved on the boat, uh, in 2000, we moved there in 2011, and um, my condition was getting worse. And um, even I, I moved on the boat, my juicer, my Vitamix dehydrator, um, and we got ozone machine, and uh, we got that we got actually later when we <laughs> we find it's uh, still Lyme uh, when it's it's Lyme disease. Um, I became almost raw for this for a while and juicing and uh, detoxifying. And my I used to go to colonic therapist that is my friend now. And she was suggesting if I do have Lyme disease that she is having clients with same symptoms and uh, they have a Lyme disease. I said, <laughs> I completely was close to it till, till um, somebody else suggested. And uh, I, I went to some chiropractor that, uh, did some energy diagnostic and uh, that confirmed that I still have Lyme disease. Mm -hmm. Then after I learned that it's Lyme disease, we started to research and uh, I was lucky that um, there was still all the information from light, light literate um, doctors that were he healing successfully Lyme disease. Uh, you could then get the protocols like Dr. Cleanheart and Dr. Codwell uh, call, I, I might mispronounce his last yeah. name. Those were, I think, because one uh, Dr. Klinghardt is in Seattle and the other doctor was in 
on East Coast. Plus, I started to listen all the um, summits and um, everything I could get to online and books. And I started to research and I connected with people that healed their Lyme disease from the Lyme did you, disease. Did you ever um, follow um, Anthony William, the medical medium? Um, I I know about him. Um, there was something that didn't make completely sense to me. I I didn't follow him, but I was already juicing, water fasting, uh, well, using he, herbs. He just has I was a different perspective, right? Because like all the stuff yeah, he does is yeah. pure channel, and and yeah. because he doesn't he just doesn't leave it at Lyme disease. He says it's MS, it's diabetes, it's Lyme, it's lupus. It's like I think there's thirteen or fourteen different things that are all Lyme together. Like you actually yeah. got the tick bite to get the line. Yeah, I, I got it confirmed from the yeah, lab. That I know, it's I know but I you're one out of a million. Yeah. The rest just get yeah, I got actually his book. I, I got one of his book. Yeah. Uh, I got I got lots of books about raw nutrition. I, I was uh, I was so in raw food one time. I still love it. Uh, I didn't, and I love it mainly in summer when it's hot in here. Um, then uh, when we when we learned it's the lime, we started to do everything we could we could find and all the protocols, and uh, we got ozone much uh, ozone generator, uh, ionic detox. I was doing heavy detoxes, um, which put me in the Alzheimer reaction and almost killed me once. Um, well, and, and, that, uh, and that's something that's something really important to to get people to understand. Yeah, right? as much detox as detoxes are good, if you do yeah. too much, it, it wackadoodles your body. Yeah, it says, Whoa, what are you doing? Yeah, especially if you have cancer or lung disease, because it produces so much toxins in your body and uh, it's so toxic that if you rapidly detox, uh, it, 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 it goes into your system and makes you very sick. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you I, I think you wish you were dying. <laughs> yeah, I actually turned yellow, but I I was so close to the doctors because um I what I experienced I didn't I lost complete complete trust in doctors and we were dealing with everything by by ourselves that, that I I believe some doctors I knew they are good kind of uh, but I didn't have access to them but the regular doctors I have access to uh, I wouldn't we, we wouldn't go to then I was many times. It was like emergency situation, and we stayed home, but I survived. <laughs> well, how, it was... So how, how, with all of this, right? So now you have a new husband. He's like, okay, he, that's not who I married, but obviously he stuck by you, so that's awesome. Um, what was he going through as he's watching his new bride just like deteriorate? In front yeah, of him? it was sometimes hard for him. Uh, he was very supportive. He was doing everything to help me, and uh, he was encouraging me. <laughs> well, to... obviously, <laughs> because there were such a dark times sometimes that, that I couldn't see light of the tunnel. Because it was like when I was healing myself, it was like three step back, uh, forward, and and one step or two steps back, and I I I kept diary then that I could see the progress. As nice to me too. I connected with some people. They 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 heal themselves also, and I was connected with them through phone and and online. Um. Yeah. Then and that, and uh, he was very supportive, too, right? and he was supporting me financially. He was uh, working and making decent money, and uh, he was supporting me financially. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm I I I married angel. <laughs> yeah. Well, he sounds wonderful. And that, I mean, that's important too, is, is having that support network. Um, because yeah, like the dark days are dark and, and yeah. when you don't have that like um, supportive network. You're just going like, why am I trying to push through and get better? Yeah. For what? Yeah. yeah. It was very isolating time too. I miss my, my close friends from, from Idaho when we moved and I didn't have anybody I didn't know anybody I, I met some friends but I never really connected with anybody much and I was trying to go as a health coach to to uh networking 
and people didn't have any i would i have tendency to put smile all the time even regardless how i'm feeling and people didn't have any idea how i'm feeling that i have like a horrible headache and and a, a, a pain in all all over my body sitting there and i just was going there for social more than than business because i was missing people so much it was so isolating <laughs> And even I, I was in pain. I was smiling because I was, I was so happy to be close to the people. But um, I, I didn't really uh, connect with anybody on deeper level. uh, um, In all of you, and and that's the, that's the thing, though, right? Is, is you're blessed to have like say three close friends in your lifetime. Yeah right yeah yeah it's crazy yeah you know considering how many years we spend on this earth and we only have three really close friends yeah 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 i miss them i uh i'm on the phone with them but one is really really busy she has business and she works non-stop and i don't have too much opportunity to talk to her and i wasn't able to go back recently for a while Mm -hmm. and um I miss them. They are they are like my family. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, but then there again, right? Like business is great, but if you don't keep the people that are close to you close, what do you have? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Then you're an empty shell, right? So yeah, it's it's Con- finding that it's finding that balance of of yeah, you know, making your living, making your life. Yeah. No, like having the job to make the income, but it's it's important to have the life. Like yeah, yeah. You're working to support the life, not the life supporting yeah. work. I yeah, that's true. I I cannot do anything what doesn't what doesn't I wouldn't be able to work somewhere just to make money. I I, I have to it has to have some something what gives to people kind of something positive. Uh, if there is something negative or I, I actually work when I was supporting myself uh, I had hard time to support myself as an artist I was uh, working eight years as a dental technician and um, I worked with porcelain and zirconium but I, I couldn't see what it, it was disturbing uh, uh, industry but they are not concerned what they are putting in people's mouths that it's high, highly carcinogen metals um and um people don't know they are not educated when i got my first crown um i don't have too many of them but it was uh it was um uh metal and porcelain i wanted white crown and i i didn't have then idea that there is carcinogenic metal underneath um i got it all removed i used to have i used to have uh 16 filling mercury fillings in my mouth and I got them gradually all removed. And I, before I, I, I learned it has to be removed uh, with certain protocol, uh, it was harming me too, because I was releasing more me- mercury into my system and well, was and, already- And I've had, I've, I know of a person who actually got brain damage. Yeah. They took them out too fast. They didn't, they didn't do it yeah. gently. And yeah, he kind of- yeah, the, like he actually the, blacked out for like three days. He had no idea what was going on. Yeah, there is a good video that people can. I don't know if you can still find it on YouTube. It's called called smoking tooth, and it's extracted tooth, and there is a green screen behind, and they are brushing that tooth, kind of or stimulating it with heat or brushing, and you can see the smoke coming of mercury from it. <laughs> Then that's what happening with uh, in our mouth when we have mercury in the mouth. It well, go, and it goes in the brain and it, it causes cancer. It's so it's such a high can. It's yeah, it's not good. Um, I had having, all my notes long, long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Then uh, and, in, and in between getting them out, I was doing chelation therapy. Yeah, yeah. I used to take uh, MMS. Uh, the the um we still have it home i used to take it every day uh chlorine dioxide the the uh, jim humble um 
it, it's an oxygenation therapy and it detoxifies that it detoxifies all the heavy metals it goes into the brain and even it detoxifies from all body but it's oxidation therapy chlorine dioxide it's very effective uh, for everything um but uh, you have to be also careful because it could cause Herzheimer reaction. It needs to be start very slowly and add up. Yeah, then uh, that's what I was doing through my my healing. I was doing all kinds of stuff uh, on the boat. Uh, chlorine dioxide, medicinal mushrooms, uh, essential oils, uh, herbs, tinctures well, and, and there, of... there's that doctor out of new zealand that i've been following for like just recently i just found her and she says the only thing you need is castor oil and and cayenne pepper yeah i i used to do castor oil packs on my liver because my liver was a compromised kind of a, it had a hard time my, it was hard on my liver i used to do uh, a liver flush uh, dr morris uh, liver flush, uh, doctor, no, what's his name? His, uh, his last name is Morris. Uh, I, I, I don't, I don't think he's doctor. Um, I forgot his first name. Uh, he got two books from him and there is protocol how to do liver flush. Then we were doing it once a month, how he suggested for oh, one year. Even, even taking a bottle of milk, milk thistle. Yeah, I was using while. milk thistle. <laughs> I, 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 you don't even have to do the whole flush. Just throw some milk thistle in once in a while and help it flush. But so let's just get um move on to where you are now and how you got into the stem cell. Yeah, that's um, um obviously obviously you have the life that would make sense that you go into Yeah, it was generation. four intensive uh, years on the boat. Uh, I I got better. It wasn't it wasn't that uh, acute, but I my I had I ended up with um, um I was partially walking with cane. I, I had hard time to walk. I still couldn't sleep and still living with pain. It wasn't that severe like it used to, but uh, I had uh, lots of problems still, and my joints were the biggest problem, and still my skin problem, nerve uh, nerve pain. And uh, couldn't sleep. My energy was low. And um, in 2018, we moved into this house. <laughs> uh, we moved off the boat on the ground. And uh, in 2019, my my mom ended up in hospital, and I'm I was afraid I'm losing them her. And I rushed to Czech Republic. And I'm also sensitive to. Um, I got very sensitive to uh, frequencies. They can trigger pain in like a uh, whole body pain. And uh, when I traveled to Czech Republic, I, I noticed that the place I'm from, there is way more towers on every house. I don't know if they put 5G everywhere. I never seen it before. I, I go there. Well, no, I used to be able to open up and have a bit of freedom, right? They yeah. weren't allowed to have freedom before. They weren't allowed to have it. Yeah, I know it. They it's just uh, they changed the tactic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could see. I I see it now. I didn't see it then. I see. I started to wake up to it. Um. Yeah, the the um uh, those frequencies probably and stress I had with my parents they triggered Lyme back or something. I I got very ill there, and uh, there was like uh, uh almost I was I was there for <laughs> for a month. And there was like week I I couldn't get out of the house. I was in so much pain and I couldn't walk. I was using my my dad's cane <laughs> to walk for 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 a while, and it was considered how I will get back. Um, somehow I I was able to get back. Uh, my brother helped me with some some stuff, and uh, I just was able to get back. Um, even it was <laughs> difficult on the airport, th those long distances. Yeah. It was, uh, I was concerned and that I will miss the plane. A, a book, a uh, wheelchair. Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> I never, yeah. <laughs> well, because, because we're younger, right? We don't think about it. And now, like, because I remember yeah. um, years ago before my uncle passed, he had ALS. 
And man's like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, you know, because they would fly to Arizona and stuff. Yeah. And he said, book, an air, uh, book, a, book a wheelchair. He's not going to go for that. And I go, curbside service. <laughs> and she's like. Yeah, I know. Right? So I know she, I should. She quietly did it. And he didn't argue. Because she I should do that. Because luggage and help him. And... I didn't think about it. But I, that's what I should do. Because it was really. Uh, yeah, and uh, really hard. <laughs> and I made it home, and uh, I was three weeks past that. It's usually like uh, the, they are nine hours ahead, and it mm -hmm. takes time to adjust the time. But it was three, three weeks after. I still couldn't sleep. I, I was sleeping like one, two hours a night. And uh, and the pain was still so extreme. And uh, my my knees were worse. That my knees were killing me, and they were swollen. You're full, you're full of all that other toxicity, right? That you're not used to. Yeah, and at this time, friend contacted me if I would like to try something, and uh, it it was my friend from Kudalain. Um, I knew, and um, uh, I I was open to, it. and I, I I like to look at the things and I research everything. I I like to find find kind of learn about things. And uh, I, I was open to it, and uh, we, we we got it. And it was just patches and never be without. Um, um, I started to use it, and um, I I felt immediate relief, pain relief next day, and I slept best ever. Um, and I couldn't sleep for years normal with Lyme. I I had sleep problem for for years, yeah. and I had energy. Uh, and um, gradually, it was getting better and better. I felt better and better, and my knees were getting better. And other things, I still had problems. And uh, I, what happened after, after three months, I felt like I got new knees, and well, it was still to, improving. Hmm? Well, just to let the people who are watching, you have the patch on. Yeah, so yeah. That it's, little patch is all she's talking about. That's. That's yeah, it's a little band-aid, but the band-aid, the little band-aid is, is patented technology that gave me my life back. I, 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 I live now in beautiful nature by a hood canal that uh, three blocks from water and and 10 minutes to mountains to hike. And I couldn't hike. I, I was using cane to walk. We have uh, our properties on the hill and I had difficulty to walk it. Um, and uh, I can do, I, I can walk again. I can hike again. I can I sleep best ever. I sleep at night. I, I have energy. And uh, uh, last year in December, we, we finished my ceramic studio and I can make pots again on, on Pyrosville <laughs> and, and work with clay. Uh, and I have a garden again. I, we got big garden. I couldn't work. I couldn't do anything. I, I my husband was cleaning house. He, he was doing everything. I couldn't do anything before we moved. So I was... he's probably more happy that you're better than you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's enjoying. He's enjoying it, and I cook him. Oh, I finally get to my feet up for five minutes. <laughs> yeah, I think he suffered more more than I did. <laughs> yeah. but, but because... kudos to him because like some some partners can't do it. Yeah, yeah, I know. They can't see they, their partner. They would leave. They don't know how to do it, like how to help, right? Yeah. And so, yeah, like you said, like he's an angel. And, and, yeah, and he is. And he came to my life at the time when I started to go down um, yeah. health-wise. Yeah. That's, yeah, he's my angel. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm well now and I'm taking care of him. <laughs> well, and that's, that's what a partnership is, right? It's not... It's not yeah. about the traveling and the, you know, fancy yeah. dinners and whatever. It's about the day to day. Can you make dinner? Because I can't, right? Like, you know, yeah, I'm gonna take a longer bath today because I'm able to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then this technology has embedded a uh, crystal, nano crystal that is uh, made in lab with certain frequencies, and it's a, it's a form of light therapy. Uh, that crystal traps light we emit, we emit infrared light, and um, the the frequency signaling uh, body to to awaken our own sleepy um, as as we aging our our 
stem cells are becoming dormant, mm -hmm. then this signaling body to awaken our own stem cells and creating new ones. Mm -hmm. uh, and this basically st started, uh, triggered my body into repair mode. And I see it, it it's it's gradual. It's not any fix, uh, fast fix. And it's with kind of, I, I'm using it since 2019 and uh, I'm just getting better. And I live, it, it, I feel it in my mood. I feel it in my every day. It's, it's just, and I don't live with any pain anymore. <laughs> And your smile's there because you, it's there, not because you're trying to go, oh, I get to see people. <laughs> it's, uh, an, it's an inward out yeah. smile rather than an outward in smile. Yeah. I, it's kind of that smile. It's kind of comes so natural. I, I, used, I smile even when I'm in pain. <laughs> I don't know why. It just well, no, comes but naturally. I think... I think before your smile was, I'm gonna hide the pain. I don't. I'm not gonna let people in because they're not gonna to want to hear about the pain anyways, right? Because when people ask you how you are, they really don't care what you say, mm -hmm. right? It's just being polite. And now you're saying my smile's here because my inner <laughs> is glowing, and I just want everyone to see that it's I. I have, you know, I'm sharing life, and I think yeah. that's the biggest thing that we can take out of this conversation is that. Yeah, like we all have our trials and our tribulations and it's how we move through them. Yeah. Right. And I realized too, like with other people that have moved from sex back in different places like Korea and whatever, like when they come to America or Canada, they do smile more mm -hmm. because they've had to work harder to get the little joys. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Where, where um, you know, and I know America can, can, well, both of our countries, like the U.S. and Canada, we both can take for granted what we just have, mm -hmm. right? And so that's why I think it's like, for me, I love finding the people coming to my country because it's like, what's your story? Where have you come yeah. from? What have you learned along your journey? Yeah. Because we're all here to learn from each other and with each other to grow a better, more yeah. sustainable and it takes good attitude uh, not to give up have open mind and 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 enjoy small things in their life and not take for granted anything because when i got really ill i couldn't dress myself i i lost i lost so much uh, from my you, when you lose health and you you lose things that you don't even think about and you cannot do anymore and you don't think you you would miss them <laughs> or would impact you <laughs> or how many people don't wear lace up shoes anymore because they can't bend down to tie them yeah yeah right? yeah and so like even yeah, i was even going oh i just want some slip on shoes i'm like no you don't bend over and tie your shoes <laughs> Right? Because it's like you take for granted, like, well, I can bend down, so I'm going to keep doing it because it's also core training, it's also strength training, it's also mobility, it's also, yes, not moving is so you important. You bend over, do you get busy, yeah. busy coming up? Right? <laughs> it's all those little signs that we miss along the way and went, how did I get this way? Yeah, and how to get out of it. Yeah, and and there's it, always way to get out of it. I believe since you are, if, if you are still alive, you can turn it around. There is way. Our body is so powerful. It just needs to get what it needs and and kind of detoxify what got you there. Well, yeah. it's not waiting till it's like a broken bone. Yeah. It's waiting, or it's it's noticing, like, why do I got to twitch? What's this twitch about? What's my body trying to indicate to me, like, that, you know, the muscle's kind of triggering, right? And, or, you know, like, and, and even for me, like, I mean, I don't buy anything, right, without muscle testing it. Because one day I, I need I it. I do, too. I have and one day you I long. Can't. I, I have don't pendulum. Even worry about the pendulum. I just use my and pendulum. I we do muscle testing with my husband. Yeah. 
Like I'll only be in the grocery store, pick up an uh, <laughs> yeah. apple, and <laughs> it's muscle test it. Nope, muscle test the next apple. Yep, and I'm telling you, like there'll be all these beautiful fruits or vegetables or whatever. One I pick up, can't touch it. Another one I pick up, I can eat it. Another one, and they're all yeah. together. I do it too with my husband. We muscle check in the store too, mm -hmm. <laughs> like uh, arm and. Oh, you do the arm. We do the arm. I cannot. This doesn't no, do for me. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, I kind of this works best for me <laughs> if I have husband around. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying, like once you get used to it. But then I also I was noticing the other day that I was relying on the muscle testing rather than following my intuition. My dad yeah. said no, and I'm like, oh, I better check that with my muscle testing. And I was like, you do. <laughs> You don't, yeah, you don't check your gut response. Your gut response is always right, but um, yeah. So we're coming up to the I, I think the top of the hour. I don't know when we started, but anyway, if we're if we went long, it's it's all mm -hmm. good conversation. What do you want the listeners to know regarding understanding where they are in their own health journey, and that um whether they call you or what or like contact anyone to get help support what what do you want to say to wrap it up uh, i would i would advise everybody not to give up keep you keep the hope keep seeing the light in the tunnel even even if it could be so dark there is always light uh, and uh continue doing and researching and 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 the uh, um <laughs> I get it blank um yeah not not to give up and have open mind that's what I wanted to say open mind to 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 check other things and and look other options not to be rigid and or or fix on one thing uh, be open to look look at things <laughs> that's how I find this technology and and give, it gave me my life back and I never be without it my husband is using it and I'm using it on my animals right. and <laughs> well and I think I think that's the biggest thing is that is um with the not giving up like to keep going to keep researching because we don't know what we don't know right yeah. and tomorrow we might find a rabbit hole that is like yeah. the holy grail of of what we've gone yeah. through yeah yeah i i'm not currently active as a health coach i kind of became unactive like around 2000 it kind of gradually uh trickled down and um but i still have website i have resources there i have really good recipes there and my website health, co health coaching website is uh ivatalako.com my name and um and to learn about this technology a uh, good website that, where there is nothing for sale and it's not linked to anybody uh, just to learn about it. Uh, good good website is uh, startx39now.com. Okay. We'll put that in the show notes. Mm -hmm. And um, it's been a wonderful pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. It was so nice to meet you again. Yeah. I'd like to meet you like on person personally again sometimes. Oh, you never know. Yeah. You might travel here and I might travel there. Yeah. We're actually not that far. So um, I used to be so close again, to Idaho. <laughs> once again, it's authentic conversations presented by Transition Clarity. I'm your host, Jeff Nara, and my guest, Thank you.